First, I think you should know what types of networks there are, so we can continue on the more advanced stuff. The first types of network that I want to tell you is PAN, which stands for Personal Area Network. PAN is the smallest type of network that you can find. For example, when you are using your Bluetooth headphone or sharing a file from your laptop to your smartphone, you are using a PAN network. The next one is LAN, which stands for Local Area Network. LAN can contain a few computers or servers that are connected together with cables. The example for it is when you and your friend connect your laptops together and play a video game on your local machines together. Next, we have VLAN, which stands for Wireless Local Area Network. It's just like LAN, but let's say you have an access point and bring it on a table and you allow wireless devices to connect as well. That type of connection, we call it VLAN. Next, we have CAN, which stands for Campus Area Network. Campus Area Network will be created when we connect a bunch of LANs together. For example, in your university or your high school, you have a bunch of buildings and each building have their own LAN system. All of the computers are connected together. And when we connect these buildings together, we will create a campus area network. The next type is MAN, which stands for Metropolitan Area Network. It is when things get bigger. For example, the connection between two cities or multiple cities. The last type of connection that I want to tell you is VAN, which stands for Wide Area Network. The best example for it is the internet itself that we are using right now. VAN is for connecting countries or continents together. All right, if you want to encourage me to create more videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing this video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.